Hello, my name is Abigail Holst and I am a sophomore at Emory University, double majoring in Chinese and Human Health. Today I will be discussing the fascinating qualities and applications of Mimortica carantia, which is more commonly known as bitter melon. Here's an overview of my talk. Bitter melon is known by myriad names and used in a wide variety of contexts across the globe. It is harvested at different times of maturity and prepared and cooked using a wide variety of methods. It also occupies various points on the food medicine continuum depending on one's cultural identity. This plant thereby begs an understanding of and appreciation for traditional knowledge and traditional ecological knowledge. Mimortica carantia is a member of the Cucurbitaceae family and the Mimortica genus. This genus includes approximately 80 species of annual and perennial climbers. Some related species include but are not limited to the balsam apple and spiny gourd. Bitter melon is very distinct in its visual appearance. For example, it has an oblong shape, warty exterior surface, and dappled flat seeds surrounded by bright red arils. Notably, the color of the flesh transitions from different stages of maturity. When it is more immature, the color is typically green on the exterior and the interior, and later on it turns into a vibrant yellow color that actually bursts open to reveal its bright red arils on the inside. Some of the plant defense mechanisms of Mimortica carantia are evident in its appearance and features. The outer pericarp, which is bitter in flavor and green in appearance when immature, helps camouflage seeds that are still developing. Also, the bright red arils that surround the seeds are attractive to other animals because of the sweet flavor that they impart and also the vivid hue. This thereby aids in the dispersal and propagation of this plant. Growing regions include, but are not limited to, India, China, the Middle East, and the United States. Although the precise center of domestication of Mimortica carantia is unclear, there is much agreement that it is likely to have originated in regions in eastern India with secondary center of diversity in southern China. And this is due to textual evidence that can be seen in Ayurvedic texts and traditional Chinese medicine references in ancient Chinese texts. And also in the Compendium of Materi Materia Medica, which is a mammoth uh, collection of volumes, um, there are references to bitter melon. And as this was published during the Ming Dynasty, this indicates that it at least dates back to the Ming Dynasty, but probably much earlier than that due to the Sanskrit references. In Ayurvedic medicine, bitter melon is most known for its hypoglycemic action and anti-diabetic properties. One thing that's notable is that bitter substances in the Ayurvedic tradition are known to impart cooling effects on the body. And this bears similarities to Hippocrates' humoral theory, in the sense that this restores equilibrium or homeostasis in the body. Therefore, bitterness is a coveted and desired feature. And this is not specific to the Ayurvedic tradition, because in Chinese medicine, bitterness is also believed to enhance the male principle, or yang, which points to the yin and yang dyad in Chinese. In diabetes, is also believed to be a deficiency of yin. So this points to the fact that bitter melon is known to impart hypoglycemic effects and anti-diabetic effects, um, which sort of balances out the yin and yang principles. Bitter melon is prized in the cucurbitaceae family due to its high nutrient density and its admirable efficacy in treating a wide range of illnesses. It also contains a complex mix of beneficial compounds and phytochemistry. Some key constituents that contribute to the bitter flavor of bitter melon include flavonoids, glucosinolates, cucurbitacins, phenols, and so forth. 
Although bitter melon usage in traditional medicine is not limited to the following bullet points, these bullet points evince the wide range of applications that bitter melon has. There is extensive research about the anti-diabetic properties of bitter melon. This is easily one of its most prized qualities and utilized qualities. The hypoglycemic activity can be found in all parts of the plant. And according to some studies, the plant actually acts as an insulin or promoter of insulin release. Polypeptide P, which is also known as plant insulin, is notable because this is an insulin-like hypoglycemic protein often utilized by diabetic patients as a plant-based insulin replacement. And certain studies have demonstrated that injections of plant insulin compounds in bitter melon actually have been shown to lower blood glucose levels. Mamortica crantia is used as an abortifacient, meaning it induces abortion. Additionally, it is used to treat a wide variety of gynecological conditions, including menstrual dif difficulty and flush. Some West Indian women have reported drinking tea infused with the plant on a monthly basis to avoid childbirth by inducing early abortion. It has also been used to serve as an aphrodisiac. Because of these qualities, it is recommended that women who are pregnant do not consume this plant in any form. A very fascinating study published this year relates the neuroprotective effects of Memortica carantia based on in vitro studies and studies conducted on mice fed high fat diets. In the study, Memortica carantia was shown to ameliorate obesity-associated neuroinflammation and systemic inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. The findings of this study are significant in the context of a growing obesity epidemic in the United States, which calls for increased usage of bitter functional foods in the diet. Bitter melon is of high economic value in various regions across the globe, including India, China, and the United States. It is often seen in niche marketing. In these contexts, bitter melon is commonly sought out for its anti-diabetic properties. Therefore, it can be found in a wide range of forms, including capsules, tablets, powders, and so forth. In conclusion, it is evident that bitter melon has a wide range of applications in traditional medicine and complementary alternative medicine today. This can be seen in its role in niche industries and increasing marketing in allopathy. However, there is something lost in purchasing plants such as bitter melon in condensed pill forms. In doing so, one bypasses all the complex phytochemistry and chemicals contained in the plant that could be of benefit if one consumed it and used it as a functional food rather than solely using it in pill form. I argue that traditional ecological knowledge and traditional knowledge are of profound importance in modern day society. By supporting scientific research and traditional knowledge and forms of traditional medicine, we can ensure that the human population retains something that is fundamental and worthy of pride to our existence and basic survival, which is the concept of foraging for our own food and knowing the provenance of one's food. The following are my references.